They shine like galaxies, but behave like nothing else in the universe. Imagine something in deep space, so bright it outshines entire galaxies, yet it's smaller than a solar system. We call them quasars, short for quasi-stellar radio sources. Discovered in the 1960s, these mysterious objects have puzzled astronomers for decades. They sit at the hearts of distant galaxies, unleashing energy with the fury of trillions of suns, often powered by supermassive black holes, devouring matter at unimaginable rates. But here's where it gets strange. What makes quasars so weird? They're too powerful, too compact, and sometimes even appear to turn off and on like a switch. Some quasars blast perfectly focused radio signals across billions of light years. Others form patterns, strange alignments across cosmic distances, almost as if they were orchestrated. Physicist Paul Dirac once said, pick a point in the sky and wait long enough, something will come from it. With quasars, that might be truer than we ever imagined. What if they're not natural? Some scientists, including those at Harvard's Galileo Project, have speculated, what if some quasars aren't natural at all? Alien civilizations at Kardashev type two or three levels could manipulate black holes, using their energy to power interstellar technology. Could quasars be cosmic lighthouses pulsing deliberately across the universe to signal others? Are we mistaking advanced tech for natural phenomena simply because we can't yet explain it? The cosmic lighthouse theory. Imagine a species that mastered the manipulation of gravity, time, and light. Rather than sending radio signals like we do, they ignite black holes, creating visible beacons, not just to say we're here, but to show us the way. Could quasars be part of an ancient interstellar navigation system, like celestial breadcrumbs scattered across the void? Or worse, could they be warnings? Final thought. Every time we look deeper into space, we're not just seeing further in distance, we're seeing further in time. Quasars are ancient, but what if they're also active? Maybe the universe isn't just full of stars. Maybe it's full of messages.